Here's the latest information we have on tropical store or tropical depression, Debbie. It was weakened to a tropical depression earlier today. Uh, the latest winds about 30 miles per hour. It is moving to the north northeast to get this 26 miles per hour. So that is why we think the impacts from Debbie are going to end pretty early in the day tomorrow. Again, 26 mile per hour movement of the tropical system is really, really fast. It's going to I tail it out of here as we go into Friday. Uh, really, by Friday evening, it's going to be up near Montreal. And then by Saturday morning, it's going to be up along the St. Lawrence River Valley, way up into Canada, about to uh, merge perhaps into the North Atlantic once again. But again, this thing is going to move very, very quickly. That is why we're going to probably allow this Weather Authority Alert Day on Friday to expire pretty early in the day. Right now, we still have some pretty heavy rain. It's 11 14, and it's still pouring down rain in some of our backyards. Nothing severe, thank goodness. You'll Notice that we are seeing some pretty heavy rain out across portions of Bedford County near Timberlake over, say, towards Bedford itself. Areas in and around, uh, uh, say, Vinton perhaps seeing some showers as are folks a little further upstream along Interstate 81 going towards Buchanan seeing some heavier rain. Rain becomes a little bit lighter as you head towards the NRV. Areas south of Christiansburg over towards Floyd County, south even into with Carroll and Grayson County seeing some pretty heavy rain. And we still have a couple of bouts of some heavier downpours in Covington and Clifton Forge and points north on U.S. Highway 220 had more than about 20 to 25 storm reports come in of some downed trees. As John said earlier, there are several areas that still are dealing with some power outages and really the storm reports that were most numerous today were, were flooding reports. We've had numerous reports of, of uh, uh, flooded roads across southwest central and south side Virginia. I want to show you uh, the river levels here if I can go back and I think we can. Let me see. There we go. Uh, the Roanoke River at Randolph and the Roanoke River at Roanoke expected to, I think, crest in the uh, minor flood stage area. OK, we're looking at the Roanoke River at Roanoke cresting at about 11.7 feet around 2 p.m. tomorrow. The Dan River at Danville and the Dan River at South Boston, both expected to crest likely in the moderate flood stage with the Dan River at Danville cresting about 2 p.m. tomorrow. The Dan River at South Boston may not not actually crest until we get into this upcoming weekend. Uh, again, we're looking at the water flowing downstream eventually through the south side, so that's why it's going to take a little while for these river levels across south side to actually react to all the rain that we've gotten today. The overall setup for Friday shows that the highest concentration of really nasty weather will likely be in areas northeast of us, really from our nation's capital up north into New York and even into areas near Albany. Uh, again, that's where the, uh, the, the bulk of the real nasty weather is going to be Friday morning into early Friday afternoon before again Montreal, believe it or not, inland up way north into Canada could see several inches of rain from the remnant moisture of Debbie. Let's talk future cast overnight tonight. Again, we're going to still have some showers, maybe a couple of embedded thunderstorms, thinking that the uh, moisture is going to be rather scattered in nature for us tonight. Tomorrow, this is 7 a.m. Leftover showers, certainly a lot of cloud cover, but by tomorrow afternoon, we actually start to dry things out, see some breaks of sunshine and any few showers or thunder showers tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. We actually come with a very weak cold front pushing in. And that cold front is going to allow us to turn less humid by the weekend. And both Saturday and Sunday look really, really pretty right now with our fair share of sunshine in the forecast. Temperatures right now 66 in Withville, low to mid 70s in Roanoke, Bedford, Lynchburg, also in Danville. Temperatures really haven't gone down all that much from earlier today. Very humid out there, though. Breezy tonight, cloudy, rainy, damp, lows between about 68 and 73. Tomorrow, highs in the middle 80s with rain tapering off, increasing sunshine by the afternoon. Saturday, Sunday, Monday all look pretty good. A few showers or thunder showers possible Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll have a chance to dry out this weekend and that my friends is good news.